the divide has grown starker. Most villages have existed in the margins, left behind progress, disconnected from the prosperity taking root in Ghana's cities. The people in power and the rich continue to blossom in riches and maintaining their status, while the poor continue to live in poverty behind the walls of government resources. Government instruments fail to function because we live with difficulties. Difficulties in tax collection, people choose to pay income tax. Properties, assets and inheritance are not registered for tax purposes. Government resources continue to circulate among some group of powerful people. Unfair public government distribution, the list goes on and on. Surely, these reasons might cut across the entire African continent. The divide has grown starker, a system benefiting only the privileged elite, whilst the masses are locked out from the basic services and opportunities. The basic things that should be accessible to every Ghanaian in the nation only work for some people. If you do not know any big man somewhere, you cannot do a simple passport registration. You cannot access a national scholarship. You cannot apply for a job in some public services. You need to know a big man somewhere before you can get somewhere. What kind of a system is this? That makes people like us never get to where we truly want to, even with the right expertise, experiences, qualifications, or the right skills. I remember monitoring the Bank of Ghana page closely for a very long time for opening so I could apply. But even though they recruit, there is no call for applications on the public domain. Literally, I was cut off on dreaming to ever work there. Following this, my brother said to me, I just have to wait until a protocol prevails itself in the region. For instance, they may be looking for a young female with my kind of qualification. That could be an opportunity. Seriously, brother, when will this happen? Is this during time of campaign? How many years? Will I have to wait until I start functioning and providing the solutions to the sector problems I desperately want to? All these have been solved for a very long time and to crack the dividing line will require strategic reasoning, problem solving, collective efforts with a growth mindset. We are far behind as a nation. The array of initiatives that will lead us to a better nation. It's time to move beyond the crisis management our leaders have always focused on. For so many years, we haven't seen any changes focusing on crisis. We must look into the future and move forward. At least, let's adapt a new strategy. Well, these interventions surely are not easy coming in short run. Like I said, we need a collective effort with growth mindset to start somewhere, progressing from one stage to the other. The major enabler, I think, is digitization. Bringing transparency to government, accountability, security against corruption, equitable access to services and opportunities for all Ghanaians. Previous attempts at digitization have amounted to little more than a fragment effort in Ghana. But it is still a perfect starting point. A digital system will lead a preserved government purse, give us a coordinated pool of resources, fair distribution of the resources and good accountability. E-government services for all government departments can make government spending more transparent. Citizens can track where funds are allocated and used reducing opportunities for embezzlement. Every department would not be prone to accountability and this time would not just be about the provision of receipts and balancing accounts. No more would the poor be impeded from education, healthcare or economic benefit. E-services will give everyone equal opportunity, opportunities where every citizen can assess government services like registering beds, applying for passport, jobs, paying taxes, renewing licenses online, or increasing efficiency and reducing 
corruption. This will surely emerge some difficulties like digital divide where some individuals will have unequal access to technology but measures can be taken to help curb this. It is also important to note that even in the developed countries there is still the issue of digital divide especially in this era of artificial intelligence. Moreover, I am just imagining a secure system, a secure economy, a secure government. How nice. The risk of theft, laundry, corruption, abuse of system and abuse of power all being minimized. Digitization has the power to strengthen and make the Ghana economic system work. The unique Ghana cars which we currently hold as Ghanaians with online database can help prevent identity theft and improve social programs, ensuring resources reach those who need them most. Adopting digital crime system in Ghana, reporting and digital patrolling like what Singapore and Rwanda do can help with our national security. Introducing AI in Ghana healthcare system to provide virtual diagnosis, virtual first aid and self-care tips with videos and web chat will be a great lead to advancement. As we are already using drones to fly medications across Ghana, even to the remote areas, I watch the drones anytime they appear to drop medication to my community hospital while sitting in front of my house. Apparently, we are not looking at complete digitization. Even advanced countries are not fully digitized. And that tells us we got to start from the bottom as a developing nation. There are basic AI essentials, basic ICT tools that can be leveraged to improve our healthcare ecosystem, improve government resources management and security in the country. We have the expertise. We have wealthy people in the country that can sponsor and invest great ideas like building health facilities that provide home care services, especially to the elderly and people with special needs at home. This will then call for health professionals home visits. Northern Ghana has great resources. Example is a variety of natural and healthy fruits and vegetables grown in abundance without any significant use these resources are our world they can be processed in different products for internal and international consumption but do we have the abilities does the system allow us registering a business or product registration with fda alone is almost closer to impossible for us in the poor communities. How then do we talk about shipping opportunities? Government resources live in this connection with communities like mine. It is time for a change. Paying of taxes is every Ghanaian citizen responsibility. The process of income tax payment should be reviewed and taken seriously. Every taxpaying citizen should do their due diligence in that regard. We cannot have a running system if people choose to pay taxes. And we cannot have these strict regulations if we are not digitized. Our land commission, mortgage market, real estate businesses, acquisition of land must be digitized. And these sectors are the rich sectors, which means a great percentage for government funds with digitization can eliminate most of these issues in the country. We must not be discriminated against because we know no one. Our expertise, qualifications or skills must be appreciated regardless of our roots or who we know. We have a lot to offer and we can do just as great as the powerful people. We request and need equal opportunities in the country. And we do understand that as a nation, we must start somewhere. Long live Ghana.